All right, I'm going to talk about um, baking mixes and spice seasoning mixes and how to save your money on not purchasing pre-made processed stuff that is filled with um, things that you don't know how to pronounce. So first I'm going to start off with my baking mix. It's a pretty simple, um, easy recipe. Usually you could go and, you know, get Eggo waffles and spend the extra money buying those things, but this baking mix is quite simple. Um, it's just like Bisquick you would find in the store, except minus any of the processed chemicals that come with it. So, anyway, baking mix is basically, it's just flour, baking powder, salt, vegetable shortening, and one of my favorite products, non-fat dry milk. Well, you can use this in so many different recipes, but anything that a biscuit, Bisquick or baking mix would call for on, like, their website, um, you can make with this mix. So we typically make a lot of waffles and pancakes, uh, freeze the extras, and the kids will eat them throughout the week. Um, you can make gravy with it, pizza dough, regular dough, biscuits. Um, there's a lot of uh, possibilities just with the baking mix, and this is just a fraction of the cost um, of what you would purchase it the Bisquick for in the store. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is broth powder. Broth powder is... Um, basically boolean cubes in a powder. Um, usually you can get it um, uh, in, you know, a beef flavor, vegetable flavor, but this is just a basic broth powder that you add, you know, like a cup of water to a tablespoon of this and it creates chicken broth or a, a broth base for you so you're not having to purchase um, cans of broth or boolean cubes and again it saves money on that. And it's basically made with yeast flakes, which I found at... Um, the health food store, and um, some seasonings. Um, all of the recipes that I use I get from a book called Miserly Moms and um, another book called Healthy Meals for Less by Joni McCoy. Um, both of them are by Joni McCoy. She also has some other books out um, like Miserly Moms, Miserly Meals. Those book, her book series are really good. That's where I get all of my mixes information and stuff. Some of them off of Pinterest, of course. Um, now, this next one is called Cream of Soup Mix. This replaces any of those cans soup. Cream of soup, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery. Um, instead, it just makes the base cream for you, and all you have to do is add chicken, fresh mushrooms, um, and fresh uh, um, celery, if you want <laughs> to make it those um, or you can just do the cream base itself. Um, I found this really helpful in making like uh, some meals that we're feeding like a large quantity of people, like 40 people. So anyway, basically all it is is powdered milk, cornstarch, that boolean powder, which is this broth powder right here, and onion flakes right here. And all I have to do is add water to a third of a cup of this, and it makes a can of cream based soup. So, and cornstarch, of course, is in there. So, the next thing I want to talk about is my uh, flavored, like, taco seasonings. Usually, you would get these in a, at the store. Um, sometimes they can run up to $1.29 a packet. And there's only about a third of a cup, or not even a third of a cup, but like three tablespoons. That's right, there's about three tablespoons in this um, packet. And you don't even want to know what's in there. I don't know. It's definitely not good for you, so, um, but I'm using that one as an example, but this is just chili powder, flour, um, cumin, paprika, and some other spices, again, um, Joni McCoy's book, um, goes in depth in her mixes, in her Healthy Meals for Less book, um, on her mix, mixes chapter, so, um, spaghetti seasoning, I use this tonight, um, in place of buying cans of, or jars of pasta sauce, I take a small can, a six ounce can of tomato paste and add eight ounces of warm or hot water to it and then a quarter cup of this and then I fill it all the way up to 16 ounces of water and shake it really well and it, it gets the spices in there. It tastes just like what you would buy. Um, you'd pay two dollars or two fifty four for um, spaghetti sauce. So, And that costs, I think, this spaghetti uh, jar that I, I got, it was 16 ounces and it only cost me 40 cents to make tonight. Ranch seasoning mix, you can make this not just with like chicken baking, um, anything that calls for ranch seasoning or ranch dressing. Um, you can make dips with it, adding sour cream, 
and it's just again it's like this one needs to be ground up again I haven't used it in a while um, it's starting to clump up on me